Hello, welcome to how to install Tubot 08. Uh, first off, you need to install Node.js, so nodejs.org. Uh, download either one of these versions, it doesn't matter for this. Download it, run it, install it. Takes a while, it's actually pretty heavy. There you go, execute. Just click through it, there's no toolbars or anything. Ask for admin permission, give it to it. Once that done, click finish, you can close this tab. Uh, download the, the proxy itself by clicking the green button and download zip, or any other way you can think of, it doesn't really matter. Extract it somewhere such as uh, your desktop, and I've already done it, but it doesn't matter. Then uh, click the Windows key, type node. It's uh, it proposes Node.js command prompt, press enter, cd to wherever uh, you downloaded the tool, so for me it's this, type npm install, takes a few seconds, done, uh, then go into wherever you extracted it, and then you will see uh, a file that's called secrets.json.example and then the file that's called secrets.json. In secrets.json.example, uh, you should fill out uh, your Minecraft email address and password, and then rename the file as secrets.json. I'm not gonna open this because there's currently my password in it, but this is what you should do. Then uh, you can open config.json. By the way, you can open both of these uh, using just regular notepad. Uh, in config.json, you can change the ports if you think you need to. Um, if you set this to false, um, the proxy will not open a browser window when you start it. And this is useful, for example, when uh, you host this on a, on a Raspberry Pi, so that you don't want the Raspberry Pi to open a browser window internally. Uh, this is a, a password you can set, we'll go back to that. And finally, here is the Minecraft version that uh, the proxy will use. And um, this is so that you can change the version without having from, uh, to wait for me to update the tool. We can close this. Um, to start it, just go into the same thing again and type npm start. It'll uh, open the, the web page if, you, if it needs to. And here is when where you can set the pass the password. So if you set the password uh, password in config.json here, uh, you need to set the same pass. Uh, you need to to provide the same password here. So here there is none. But if the password if the password was set uh, test for example, then just write test. Um, to start queuing, just click the button. The display updates after a few seconds. And uh, this checkbox has been requested by someone from the community. And it is for, uh, if you want uh, the proxy to restart queuing, oh, there you go, the display updated. If you want the, the proxy to restart queuing when it's uh, done with the queue, uh, you can check that and it'll do that. Uh, I don't know why you want th that, but it's here. So as you can see, uh, even though I have not started Minecraft yet, I am placed 531 in the queue, and in approximately 6 hours, I will be connected. Finally, uh, let's say that uh, we will somehow get further ahead in queue, pro probably by waiting 6 hours. We can launch Minecraft, 
and with any profile this works with hat clients this one is not but it should work regardless uh, go into multiplayer add a server and set uh, the address to localhost there you go and i had already done that so i'll delete the first one and uh, as you can see the MOTD updates uh, when you click refresh uh, it has 20 slots I don't know why I this is bug so um, just whenever you want you can connect to the to this server and this is the regular 2b2t server you can connect to the the fake server that's hosted at localhost at any time and you will see that this is a bit strange but if you press tab you can see that we are actually on 2BTT and the chat will tell you so too. Uh, you can't really move and it's a bit weird, but once you once you reach position zero, and I'm not going to make a six hour video um, on waiting the queue on 2B2T, um, you will hopefully spawn correctly in the world and it should work. I'm not going to show it here, but there you go. Uh, you can disconnect at any time. And it works. You can just reconnect it anytime too. Um, you should, uh, whenever, whenever this number goes like towards twenty or ten, you should launch Minecraft and connect um, before reaching zero, because otherwise uh, you'll be stuck in uh, the limbo we just saw. So like high up in the sky and nothing to see. Uh, I've been told by someone on GitHub that. Uh, if you s stay uh, shifted and try to right click things, eventually you spawn incorrectly, but I wasn't able to verify that. Uh, finally, uh, so let's say you waited the queue, played a bit, and then disconnected. Um, you will not actually disconnect from 2B2T until you cl click this button right here. So it could be viewed as uh, a flow. So like you didn't know but also it just never disconnects so let's say you disconnect your, your minecraft claim tra crashes well then uh the proxy is still connected so you're still able to run minecraft again and then uh, connect to it again so just launch it again uh also i've been told that uh this this still causes problems because when you do that, uh, as you can see, uh, will not like when you connect into 2 b 2 t you are in the end. There's no sun. There's no uh, clouds. Here they are. They are clouds and sun. Um, this is this is what you will experience when you connect back into it after having played. Uh, again, I've been told if you just sneak around for a while and right click things, eventually you stop. Yeah, you start spawning. And uh, when you just wish to disconnect, just click the stop queuing button. And there you go. Uh, finally, this tool is still running and you can stop it by control by um, typing control and C at the same time. And on Windows, it asks you if you want to stop. So just say yes. And there you go. And see you next time. Bye.